Okay, guys, we're here again. I don't know. Did, did we volunteer for this? No, I don't think we had a choice. I think Alfredo was here before we. I don't think we. Here. Yeah, I'm bribing you heavily with food. True. Yeah, okay, you know what's crazy? You, you know what's crazy? He was here before. Oh, so just like, I'm an early bird. All right, so, so um, today, I guess a lot of people are asking about what's the advantage about a cassette and a free coaster. Let's start from the beginning. A cassette. What is a cassette? Most people go, you, you know what's a cassette? This here is a cassette. This here is a free wheel. The free wheel is traditionally a hub that has a thread on. The gear threads onto it. This is a free wheel. A cassette, if you notice, there's no thread because this gear slides in. This is pretty much, guys, this right here is this. Internal. All this in here, but it's internal. And it is, the hub is raped and shoved into there and the gear is inside. Why did they do that? So then all the gears and all that's on the inside, they can make the driver smaller. They can't make this thing smaller because all the gears over it. So imagine this, if there was another extension that comes out here and the gears right here, they can make it small as they want because there's an extension of it. Free wheel, could set. Anytime you see a very small one, look at it, it's a cassette. That's the difference. What is the advantage? <laughs> Give me one second, guys. This is a short phone call. Time out. Hello. Cassette. Cassette. Cut. 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 Cassette. Cut. 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 So I'm sure it's a cassette. With uh, two I think S's. it was termite that, that And he didn't tell you, but these um, little springy boys, they spin. That's where your hub sounds like a B. And then you turn it the other way, and it locks them in. Because if you turn it this way, it'll flick. But if you go this way, it'll catch. And turn your whole wheel. This is a profile hub, and I think they have like more or something. Yeah. I don't really know the difference, but I know it's really hard to put this back in. So I'm sad that it's out. <laughs> You're gonna have to put it back in later, anyways. So. Yeah, I know. It's hard to do it. You hear that noise though? Profile. <laughs> kind of yeah, bad. Black, purple, gold. You saw them poop? This is the castet. <laughs> the castet. Okay. okay, guys, sorry, I got a I had a really important phone call, but but that's the difference between cassette <laughs> and free wheel. Now, is there an advantage? The only major advantage there is is that you can run a smaller gear than a free wheel. You know, some people say, oh yeah, the engagement on it is better. No, you know, profile and white industry makes a high engagement free wheel that has the same amount. So it, it's it's the same. You know, there's out there, you know, whoever wants to argue, go ahead, chimed in. I, I love to, to read your comments, but that's the huge advantage of it. It's just the sheer size. And of course, this one's going to be a little bit lighter than this because look how big this is. And they do make a titanium one. I don't think they ever made a titanium free will. Anybody? Anybody out there? So that's the difference. What, miss? Uh, he wants the one where the clamps on top. Uh, we're sold out of that right now. Okay. We're next couple weeks. How much is this one? It's about $80. Okay, so now back to here. So now the main question is, what is the difference between the cassette and the free coaster? I'll tell them. Okay. <laughs> so the cassette. <laughs> Stop saying cassette. The cassette, you do a 180, and you got to pedal backwards. It turns this way, free spin. But when you go this way, it forces it to spin backwards. Watch the cranks. Watch your crank, guys. See how it goes? They See how it goes back? They go back. No matter what, if you go backwards, your cranks are going back. Why? Why is he doing that? Because it's set, and if you can pedal forward, it'll engage. You mean so, all these paws and springs are what? They're catching. They're catching. That's they're ca what it does. And basically, you do a 180, you gotta do the old back pedal when before you half cab, you know what I mean? The coaster, God's greatest gift. <laughs> when you do a 180, <laughs> almost to me in the face. <laughs> your cranks don't move. It's like riding chainless until you don't want to be. You just pedal forward, and then you have a chain again. It's the best thing ever. Look at him. He's enjoying. It. He's not even riding the bike. Yes. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to go backwards as fast as you can go forwards. So that's what the coaster does. You can just roll backwards. It's also faster pedal. forward. It's also fast, well, 
No, it's no. smoother. So so we'll so we'll, we'll get to that part a little bit later. I ride 25 PSI, so I never really go that <laughs> So we get that part. <laughs> so what Ethan was saying was that with a cassette, it'll catch when you go backwards. Because these paws and spring catches. Why why is it that it won't the, the, the crank won't move when you go backward on a free coaster? Because the free coaster, it has this little clutch. And you can't see it, but inside, this thing, when you pedal forward, it screws. You see the little screw marks? It screws in, and this part binds into the hub shell, and it propels the whole thing. So when you 180 and this thing unlocks, there's nothing to catch. There's no pawn spring to catch, whichever way you go, unless you pedal forward. So it cranks back in, and it, it, it binds it up again. Where this, when you roll backward, these, these paws and spring, it collapse, it collapse, it collapse, and then as soon as you roll forward, it catch instantly. Okay, back to what Alfredo was saying, it, it goes faster. No, it does not go faster. It sounds faster. It just sounds faster. In theory, these paws and springs, this little piece is constantly scraping that, that ratchet, it's constantly scraping it, so there's friction. The, believe it or not, guys, so all you guys, I'm gonna break a lot of hearts right now, I'm gonna break a lot of hearts. Okay, the more clicking and the louder clicking you hear, it's more friction. That's why it's so loud. And the more scraping and ping, ping, ping like that, that's just slowing you down. Bro. The free coaster, when you pedal forward, this thing goes, uh, it binds it, it propels it. When it comes back out, there is nothing. There's no friction, no sound. So the free coaster is faster. That's what I said. You got it backwards. I said the pre coaster faster. No, now you're backpedaling. Don't don't jump oh, on my don't jump on my got don't jump me. on you my got me. No no no. I'll rewind this. Okay, so <laughs> James Foster, one of the gnarliest dude. You guys are are familiar? Go look up James Foster, Nigel Circus, X Game winner. Even he says it. He says that a free coaster is way faster than a cassette. But why does he ride on a cassette? Because the way he rolls in on the roll in. He's, he's so accustomed to the cassette and how much friction it does that he knows exactly how many pedals he has to take and how much he has to tap on the brakes. If he has to go on a, a free coaster, he has to readjust. And then the biggest thing, he's a huge weight weenie. His bike weighs like 10 pounds. He weighs like 12 pounds. <laughs> this thing is just too heavy for him. So when he when he does those 10 whips, you know, that was a DECA tail whip, it's, it's too much, it's too heavy. So unless somebody come out with a really lightweight free coaster, James would never be on one. Also the slack when he catches the tail whip. Also, also the slack, but but that new, uh, there's that new free coaster. Max, what is it? Free Night. So I guess there's a free coaster out there called Free Night. It's pretty gnarly. One of Max's homies got one no and, and it, it has instant engagement, but it's real weird. If you go slow enough, you go backward, you could pedal forward. It's the it's the weirdest stuff, you know. Free night. Why don't you send us a a set so we can take a part and do a review on it? Pros and cons. I'll tell you the pros and cons. Well, one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. This pros and cons. Wait, wait. This is this is heavier. It's that heavier. is lighter. Big deal. Pros and cons. Um, the free coaster is way cooler, and it's way harder to do all your tricks. But that's what makes it cooler. There's maintenance though. There's no maintenance. There's no you maintenance. just get a new one every year. There's no maintenance. <laughs> See, so guys, guys, if you are out there riding hard for a year, it's time to get something new. You guys go out there and you guys buy a $300 pair of shoes and you guys buy it every month. So you know what? If BMS gives you love and you love it, 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 it makes you happy, in less than a year, dude, six, seven months, change this, it, bro. This will change entirely how you ride. Even the way you bunny hop is different on a free coaster because everyone's so used to that Ooh, pedal, pedal pressure, pressure coming over to the coaster, it's gone. So any backwards manual, any tire tap, even the leverage on your bunny hops feel weird because you don't have that extra crank, you know what I mean? Here. So it takes like a, a week to get used to it, but mm -hmm. it's way more fun It is because say you're out street riding, right? and you're doing a line, you're doing a ledge line, and you could, I don't know, grind, manual, grind. Or you could do grind, nose manual, grind. That's pretty much it. With the coaster, now you could do a 180 and backwards, and then do a backwards trick. Or you could link stuff and do a backwards manual out of stuff, off the curb, way easier, because you don't got that engagement. So, 
so what opens Ethan, up your writing. So on what Ethan's saying, imagine, imagine if you have a certain space and you have the 180 before you go into a, a maneuver. If you have that short amount of space, you don't have time to, to back crank and get your foot position right to hop, where you just hop on there and your foot is already straight. Right? True. But what would you learn on first? Cassette. No, you know what? Megan learned on a free coaster. And she's a she's a little girl. This is Megan's old bike. She learned on free coaster and now she rides it like second nature. So I, I just thought I just thought a perfect analogy for what Ethan was saying. So right now, right now Ethan's all into drifting and all that. It's almost like an, an open yeah. differential and a, and a welded differential. If you, have, if you have an open differential yeah. and you drift, it's harder. Yeah. But if you have a welded one, a close up differential, it's a lot easier. So it's kind of the same way. It's kind of like the same way where the free coaster is the, the closed differential or the welded one. And this one's not. You could do it to both, but one will make it a lot easier and a lot funner. Coaster. Yeah. Do 180s in your front yard for hours, it's fun. There you go. But before we go, we got a little bit of some uh, comment comment rebuttal. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes, comments that was made by the Vu family does not affect <laughs> Alfredo, Mancusos, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> so, one of the it, this is not this is not bagging anybody. Somebody made a really good comment. Okay. They said on my last uh, on Alfredo's last vlog where I said, hey, dude, you know what? You guys spent a lot of money here and then don't ask for a discount because you're basically supporting it. He goes, but then you go and you ask Bang for a free pallet of drinks. Okay. So you're, aren't you doing the same food? Actually not. Because if you come here and you spend a lot of money, you spend because we have the merchandise and we give you the customer service. But when, me, when we're asking for a free pallet of a Bang or something like that, we're actually promoting it. We're, we're, we're trying to go, hey, give us a product and we're gonna give you a greater return with Alfredo's channel. Like Alfredo's channel, I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, dude. You know what? I'm blessed to have him do this because we have a lot of customers coming in because he's promoting us. You know what I think? Hold on! So I think free stuff is dope. So stop crying about it, you baby. No, so I'm explaining to him. That guy, not you. So no, 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 no. no Cry don't about listen. your own free stuff. No, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to educate the guy, not bang. But but by us by us promoting it. Especially on Alf. If Alf's channel is bringing us customer, why wouldn't Alf's channel bring in more customer for people? Going, oh, bang! I never heard of that. I thought I thought it was just something sexual. No, you know it's actually <laughs> a drink. I'll go out there and try it. Oh, you know unicorn, unicorn cotton candy. Exactly. Cool. We're gonna so, put bang so, energy on so, the world. So we're actually promoting them to give a return. But when customer coming out for free stuff, they're not promoting us. They're not pro unless they go out there and they're running a sticker, they're running a the hat, they're like, hey dude, every time you land a trick, at the BMX, oh, yeah, then, we'll then, then yeah, then we'll, discount, we'll hook you up. On that note, people want to buy that shirt. They keep asking me, so you know put what? it on the website. Un un unfortunately, this, like, like or any shirt. Supreme, Supreme ain't nothing. Once I'm done, I'm done. So you literally, you Limited, want one of these, bro. you got to buy it off my back. Yep. You got to buy it off my back. And, but you know what? But you know what? Loyal fans of your channel, if you want it, I actually got some, I, it's got my sweat. It, it, you guys might want it more. If you want, I'll throw one out at you. Just, just tell Alf and I'll, I'll come through I'll, after I'll, a hot day. I'll take it off and I'll package it up, and it'll be yours. All right. So, I any more comments? Own. Any more rude whatever? Let me know, and I'll <laughs> kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Later. During the last episode, Fu made a comment that I don't bring enough food. So this time, I'm headed to an Argentinian spot called Cambalache that has an Argentinian parrillada, which is a small barbecue, basically. And I'm gonna go and treat everyone at Epic. So, no complaints, Mr. Fu. <laughs> you guys okay, I'm, a, over I'm there? a little koozie. Oh, happy birthday. It's not my birthday. It's your birthday. Yes. Close? Yes. We got What's empanadas. Let me try and read this first. Parilada mixta. Open Delicious. Up. Oh my god. There you go. Meat. It smells exquisite. Alright, bon appetit. We're out. Later, Max. Bop. Bop. <laughs>